Hi, I'm Kitty with Atola Visuals. For those who don't know me, I run this YouTube channel here, and I also run a video production company in San Francisco. I'm really excited to bring you day of coverage from NAB and a few of you have been asking us how we are doing that. A big part of that is editing really fast and having an on-site editor. Meet Desiree, she's been hustling all week. As you can see, we're at the Adobe booth at NAB. Behind me is the product demonstration section where you can learn all about their programs. I'm gonna to talk to you about Premiere Pro and some of the features to streamline your editing process and how to collaborate with editors. What are your favorites to streamline your process? So my favorite feature in this release is one that I worked on personally. It's called the new Freeform View. And so in addition to the list view, which shows you all the metadata of your clips, we now have the Freeform View, which lets you move the clips around in a two-dimensional canvas organize them however you want, and start to build your timeline before you even make any edits. Can you show us a little demo of what this looks like? It's pretty exciting. Yeah, so here's a bin, and before this feature, you might either look at it in this list view, a lot of text, or the icon view where you could see your thumbnails but not do too much with them. So in freeform view, you now have full control over moving the clips around. You can zoom out and see your entire project or your entire story at a glance and start to build your project from there. You can make decisions about not using that clip, throwing these over here. I only care about these today. I'm going to zoom in on these. And you can even start to use our hover scrub feature to zoom around the clip, set your in point, set your out point, and drag that straight to your timeline so that you don't even have to use the source monitor and jump between it. So it's going to let you edit faster and think creatively, almost like you're putting little post-its on a wall and looking at your story. That kind of your inspiration, the post-its on a wall? It was. We have a lot of editors. I'm on the team at uh, the Premiere team that works in Hollywood with some of our uh, engagements there who are doing you know, AAA uh, film and TV. And this is a big request for them because it's how they like to work and we wanted to help them expand their creativity. And then you could easily change the clip colors here. Can you put them in folders as well? Change label colors. You can drop them into bins for further organization. And one of my favorite features to help with this is um, if you get to a point where you didn't like or if you want to just try a completely different take creatively, you can save the layout you're currently looking at to come back to it later. So for example, I just threw a bunch of clips away. I can right click here and restore back to where I had it. And as I start to work, I can make different layouts for different tasks, right? It's beautiful. I think that's also useful for uh, switch sharing between editors. You don't have to fight over how you like your bin organized, right? I can have my bin layout, you can have your bin layout. We don't have to step on each other's toes. That's very, very useful for collaborations. Yeah, rulers and guides. From our users, so we were really happy to get this out to everyone. If you've used Photoshop or you've used Illustrator, it's very similar. It comes from that same Adobe heritage. And the idea is that with your guides turned on, you can now drag your titles around and uh, snap to them. So you're no longer guessing, am I in the middle of the frame? <laughs> am I a little bit off? I don't know if, like, if you're like me, you've rendered out a video and been like, that's not center. And then you could also share these templates and change the guide colors. So when you right click on a guide, you can go to edit it. You can dial in the exact pixel position or percentage as well if you just need you know, 75% and change the color from there. And then like you mentioned, if you go to view and go to guide templates, you can access any templates you've saved, and you can also go to manage and then export them to go use in After Effects, or if your After Effects artist made some for you, import them in there. This is super helpful if you work with other editors so you could keep the consistency throughout, depending on different videos that you're creating or different brands. If they have a logo in a certain place in the video, you could save it. Is there an essential graphics panel at all for your titles, which you should? Yeah. We, we've added some features there I want to show you real quick. Yeah. So if, if you ever make a lower third, you know it's pretty common to want to put some kind of box behind it so it steps out from your video, whether that's black or a color like this one I show here. Um, so we've added now, when you have just a text layer, it's a single checkbox to just add a background. And it will automatically resize as you type and add new text. You don't have to keep making sure your box catches up with your text. Or if you keyframe the text to move, you don't also have to keyframe the box. It's just married to it right there. We also have support for multiple strokes. So if you want to get crazy and make some graphics like this, we have one, two, three, four crazy party strokes going on on that You one. have blue, white, pink, purple, green. If you want to make them all different and vibrant, you definitely can to make it super unique. And then to also take your graphics here to the next level, we'll let you group layers and also mask them out to punch through to the video beneath. So you'll see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers, and they're all combined into a group that I can now move together. So before you would have had to one by one each of those. And then this text here can be set to mask 
everything beneath it. So it's it's punching through to the video below and giving you this nice mellow effect. Did you make this? This is beautiful. I did not. I can't. I can't credit myself for making it now. Yeah, that definitely that definitely saves you a lot of time in the editing process. We all know how time consuming this could take. So especially if you're making a ton of content, social media marketing videos that have tight deadlines, and you're working with a team, this makes it helpful. Super helpful. Is there anything else that we're missing? Last thing I want to say is that we've put a lot of time this release into performance improvements and overall stability. So for example, this freeform feature, uh, we were working on for close to 10 months now, and it was supposed to come out, uh, we originally planned for the fall, and we were like, it's not quite to our level of quality yet, so we held it back till now, and it's great, <laughs> good to go. Yeah. Quality is important. And that, lead, that meant in the meantime, we were able to work more on fixing bugs we knew about and working on uh, performance improvements like um, we're a lot better with playback of H.264 and H.265 files like you get from drones and that kind of thing, which a lot of people are using nowadays. So simply just by updating, you can see a, a big performance improvement in timelines you already have. We could talk about shortcuts because I feel like keyboard commands are very important to speed up your process like you don't even realize. Just going through the years and years of doing three extra steps just to cut a clip, delete it. Oh, man. You could do this in one key. Let's show you. So this is a pre-built shortcut, but you can change it to any key you want. But the Q and the W key, we call it top and tails. You're either taking off the top of the clip or the tail of the clip. So as you're working through your timeline, you can save a lot of time instead of trying to click and maybe you click on the wrong thing and you drag a little bit. Just put your playhead where you want it. And if you're on the top of the clip, hit Q. If you're on the back of the clip, hit W, and you're going to chop off either side. It makes perfecting your timeline. You can just chop right through it. and almost like a sushi chef. You just got to lock the layers because then you'll cut the other clips. Well, it's great for the beginning of your edit when you just put all your clips in there and then you're going to start trimming, just kind of tweak it. You'd be through that so fast. First rough cut done. Thank you guys for giving us such good feedback on all the videos. We've been hustling hard. Not that much sleep, but it's okay because it's totally worth it bringing these videos to you. Hopefully you learned something here. You do you fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Follow us on IG because we post there on the daily. Mm, done.